Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Gorwa Symposium of 2024, which I'm convening for a second year here at the University of Bayreuth. Uh, and for those of us encountering Gorwa for the first time in the context of this symposium, Gorwa is a South Cushitic language spoken in Tanzania by approximately 134,000 people in and around the Babati district in north central Tanzania. We can see Gorwa mapped here near the center of this language map of the Tanzanian Rift, showing the rich regional language ecology in which Gorwa exists. And for a brief overview of the language, I direct those interested to an introduction to Gorwa given as part of this class, which can be accessed via the QR code on screen. You guys can come over if you'd like. Um, for a sense of what the language sounds like, I'd like now to play an excerpt from the story Akasir Chuai, as told by Darbo Heke. In a camera do in the babus. He also dare, he also did the commandments. Walang tae away. And don't it is. Walla tae away. He has in tae ay. Binaki in my aircon. Mine too, 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 than Evie de Lonina. In Maleki, Cargar my Doradola, and yet the Macaber de Lofakin, Uroaki, a lover in Eka, Doradola. He has Maleki. Blood Dorina out does he? And Billita Eda Tinabe, this is Harry Hoaro Abaradawe. So I'll leave us with a cliffhanger here in the story. <laughs> That's a sample of how Gorwa sounds, yeah? Briefly, my involvement with Gorwa began in 2012 during my master's studies and has extended to present. So the image here is of myself and uh, Gorwa language consultant Raheli Lawi with whom I've worked for the past 12 years. Now, for some further context, this Gorwa Symposium is an event associated with the University of Bayreuth bachelor's level course, Linguistic Field Research Methods, where participants learned how to work with speakers of a language with which they were not familiar by conducting linguistic elicitation. Now, typically, linguistic field methods courses looked a bit like the illustration by uh, Iris Kustik on screen. A researcher or researchers will be in the same physical location as the language consultant with whom they work. In our case, however, our Gorwa language consultant, Hezekiah Cody, was in Tanzania, and the rest of us were in Bayreuth and other places around the world. So as such, we turned to internet communication technology to conduct our elicitation remotely. Uh, in practice, this took the form of weekly WhatsApp group calls uh, where Hezekiah would respond to our questions from a quiet room in Babati, Tanzania, and working with a high-quality audio recording uh, setup next to him. All of our sessions were then recorded and then shared among participants such that we could listen and re-listen to Hezekiah's words and phrases. Um, I should now mention that our Gorba language consultant, Hezekiah Cody, is a scholar uh, and Gorba speech community member who not only is proficient in Gorwa, but also in English. And as such, uh, and as in previous years, his involvement in the course was invaluable, as participants could ask him questions in English, which he could then provide equivalents for in Gorwa. And it goes without saying that Hezekiah is at the heart of this endeavor. And I speak for all of our other participants in saying that we deeply appreciate his work. This is not the first time uh, that we have held a Gorba Symposium. In my reckoning, there have been two previous symposia, which have among them produced original research on topics as diverse as loan words and their strata of borrowing, discourse and discourse particles, the morphosyntax of the morpheme O, as well as verbs of perception. Uh, and last year's Gorba Symposium featured talks including topics such as the lexical semantics of the verbs go and hit, singulatives, as well as a subset of adverbs. 
Now, in terms of content, what follows in today's symposium are a series of short talks from the participants in this course, during which they will share with us what they learned during their individual data collection and the patterns they identified when pursuing their specific research topic. So as we can see, we'll start with Titi Lola who will uh, present more on adverbs. Uh, Melek Rune will then talk about complement clauses in Gorwa. Following a brief, a brief break, Yasmin Nasif will uh, present on perception uh, in Gorwa. And finally, Harvard uh, Weiberg Johansson will talk on uh, verbal clauses, uh, case clinics in Gorwa with brief reference to Iraq. Uh, finally, I should make clear that the participants in this course are not Gorwa specialists. Uh, most participants have been working with Gorwa for only around four months, and so as such, transcriptions and analyses should only be seen as preliminary. But with that said, what attendees at today's symposium should expect is a series of diverse approaches to complex language data and refreshing new insights on patterns that could really con contribute to our understanding of the Gorwa language. Uh, though preliminary, all of the research is real and relevant. Uh, to our participants, I would like to say thank you in advance for all of your effort. I recognize that this course is challenging, but I believe that all of you rose to the occasion and did a great job. What remains is only for you to enjoy giving your talks and engaging with the questions and comments and to celebrate the Gorwa language and what we've learned over the course of the semester. So thank you, and I look forward to learning from all of you today.